Hey YouTube, super simple, um, straightforward tutorial video today. I'm in a 2006 Mazda 3 with the two liter engine. I've got um, P0128 code um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and clear it because we are about to replace the thermostat. This is really common on these vehicles. A lot of um, a lot of technicians sometimes when they get this code will just, um, I mean, before, <laughs> without even really any diagnosis, just go ahead and replace the thermostat. Others will replace the thermostat and the temp sensor. Um, I'm gonna start with replacing the thermostat, a known, um, a known uh, failure point on these vehicles, and I'm just gonna test it. Um, you know, while while it's out, consider consider that as part of my diagnosis because it's pretty easy to get to. Um, and from there, if I need to do further testing on the temperature sensor, I will. So let's get to it. Okay, so our thermostat is right here. Oops, as you can see, right there. Kind of a pain in the butt to get to, but it shouldn't be too bad. Start, of course, by draining the coolant. And it's got this style plug in the bottom of the radiator. As you can see, it's draining out. It's right there. <laughs> Started draining it a little bit, of course, and then I removed the radiator cap, or I guess the expansion um, cap to let it all drain out. I'm just sort of monitoring it from down below, making sure it doesn't go. I mean, from up above, making sure it doesn't go everywhere. And now I'm going to um, replace the thermostat. I'm going to start by um, removing, getting the sensor out of the way, making it as easy as possible for myself to get to it. Then I'm going to remove the upper hose clamp, the lower hose clamp, um, and I'm going to remove that thermostat. Okay, and now all that's left are three eight millimeter bolts. Okay, I got those top two eight millimeter bolts, and here I am underneath the vehicle, and I'm gonna get that third bolt, which is a lot easier. And I can actually reach this without even jacking up the car, so it makes a lot of sense for me to get it this way, but do whatever y'all want. Okay, and here's the old one out, and here's the new one, and they're my bolts all ready to go back in. You're probably like, wait a second, Faye, how are you gonna test this on the road? You really want to know? Starbucks, y'all. You get a large hot tea. <laughs> and it's free refills if you stay in-house. So, um, I am literally going to pull out the middle section. Um, in case it, you know, just in case it doesn't, it doesn't all fit in there. But it might actually all fit in there in a, a venti cup. And I'm going to see if it works. Awesome. So there we have it, and it has opened, so we know that function's working good. But of course, the P0128 code means that it actually tends to stick open. And like I was saying before, like in order to get it to fit in the Starbucks cup, I had to sort of carefully break apart the housing. So now that it's open, I'm going to run it under some cold water in the Starbucks bathroom and um, then we'll see if it closes all the way and how well it closes. Okay, so I took it out of the water and here it is still open. You can tell it's open because there's the the mark um, for where it normally is. And now like I have just cold water and I'm just gonna like see if I can sort of, it's still a little warm to the touch, see if I can shock it into closing. It's just not. Yeah, it's not closing. So, I don't know if it just gets stuck or what. Ooh. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so, it just kind of gets. Oy! There's a lot of resistance <laughs> to closing. So yeah, this guy is definitely the, oh gosh, problem. So 
Um, still, though, I'm going to let this customer know if the check engine light comes back on, then I'll do some testing of the temperature sensor, but I feel pretty confident that I don't need to take any more of her money for diagnostic time, and we'll just call it a thermostat replacement.